So you go, Josh. Here's a quick video of your lesson today with Rick Shields down here at Quest Golf Academy. Uh, that was class that today. Really good lesson. Um, and happy birthday for yesterday. And what a lovely surprise for you to come down here for a lesson today. Um, what we've worked on is ways of helping you become more consistent. I think you've got tremendous power in your golf swing. But sometimes use that power at the wrong part of your golf swing. So this is you at the start today on the left-hand side. And what we see is as soon as you move that, the hands away, we're starting to bring in too much speed and power. And you can see here the, the club head has not traveled particularly far compared to the hands. And that, that's not a great position to be in. So what we've talked about today is making sure everything comes back smoother and together i love that that is such a big difference i mean look at when you when you compare it side by side you can see such an enormous difference there this one on the right side that looks like you're controlling the golf club that looks like you've got actual control of how that club is swinging though on the left and uh, not so much it just looks like you you're pulling the arms back and then really struggling to get any any uh any control over it the length, and then it looks like you have to then pick it up here at the top. The club doesn't look too heavy for you. Where here now, it's not. And we know it's not too heavy for you, but it's just the way that you, way, way it looks. Length of backswing, I'm not really that fussed if you overswing at the moment. It's not a big deal for me. Honestly, don't worry about that. The big thing I want to see at impact are these arms to be more extended. That's going to help you strike the middle of the face better. And then we want to really work on as well, we didn't get loads of time to work on it today, but trying to get the arms to extend and cross over. I'm going to show you an example here. In fact, I'll use the video that I hit uh, next to you. I think it was this one. No, it wasn't. Which one was it? There we go. So I want you to see if you can get your arms a little bit straighter through the ball and allow the arms to kind of cross over as well. As you can see there, the difference between the two, your arms look like they're still close to your body and using your wrist to turn the club. Or you can see on my swing now, I'm using more my arms, the forearms are crossing over as opposed to the wrist themselves. Great work today, really good session. It's been a pleasure coaching you today. And again, keep it up, keep up the hard work and I look forward to hearing your, uh, your stories for maybe when you join your new golf club at Fishwick. And uh, I look forward to catching you again soon. Good work today, Josh, and I'll catch you next time. Uh, we won't talk about the fact that you beat me 2-0 on the uh, closest, closest to the target.